Hi, my name's Alistair from Optimal. Today we're going to be looking at injecting testosterone subcutaneously, why it's beneficial and the best technique to do it. If you enjoy this video, please subscribe, like and click for notifications. Subcutaneous injections are when you inject into the belly fat rather than into the muscle. Traditionally, we would inject testosterone into the muscle, and this was because it had a really good blood supply. So the idea was you injected it into the muscle and the blood supply would allow it to be absorbed properly. Now we know that actually fast absorption isn't necessarily a good thing. So injecting into the belly fat means that the testosterone is released more slowly into the blood, which means you have lower overall estrogen levels, or at least peaks in estrogen. You have lower peaks in testosterone, which is actually a good thing. And you have lower levels of hematocrit, which is how thick the blood is, and also lower levels of DHT. Some other benefits of injecting subcutaneously are that you get less scar tissue because you're using a smaller needle and there's less blood supply. Also, you don't have to aspirate, which is pulling back on the plunger before you inject. Some of the negatives of using a subcutaneous injection are that it's not ideal for most compounds. Really, it's, it's only good for um, compounds such as cypionate and enanthate. Compounds like sustanon sting too much because they have too high a benzoyl alcohol content. Um, and compounds like nabido are just too large. The injection is four milliliters, which is too much to inject subcutaneously. So we've got everything here you need for injecting subcutaneously. We have a few different options for different types of testosterone and the different containers that they come in. To start off with, you've got your sharps bin, which you'll need either way, as well as your alcohol swabs which you'll need to make sure the area is clean before you inject, as well as afterwards. If you're injecting testosterone cypionate, then you'll want to use a 27 gauge fixed needle syringe. That way you can draw up and inject from the same multi-use vial. If you're injecting testosterone enanthate, then you will want to use the separate syringe with an 18 gauge needle to draw up from the ampule. Alternatively, if you are drawing up from a multi-use file using the enanthate, then you will want to use the 25 gauge needle to draw up. To inject the enanthate, you'll want to inject with the 30 gauge needle, or you can also use a 27 gauge needle if you prefer. 30 gauge needle is smaller, but it takes a bit longer to inject. So I've got everything I need to inject the enanthate. I've got my ampule open. I've opened the new sterile 18 gauge needle and I've opened up the syringe, which is also new and sterile. I'm gonna pop that onto there. So it's connected nice and firmly. Insert it into the ampule. And I'm going to draw up 0.15 milliliters. You measure it by where the meniscus is of the oil. So that meniscus should be in line with where your dosage is. Okay, so when you've got that, put the cap onto that needle. Just draw the air through so the oil isn't stuck in that needle there. And then I'm going to switch the needle over to the injection needle. So this is a new sterile 30 gauge injection needle. Pop this cap off and pop it onto there without touching the needle ends. Now all you need to do is brush the last bit of air out of the end of the needle. And if you have a little bit too much oil in the syringe, then you just need to push out the excess to make sure you're injecting the correct amount. 
which in my case is 0.15 millilitres. When you're at that point, you're ready to inject. So next, for how to draw up the cipionate. So we've got cipionate here in our multi-use vial. 27 gauge fixed needle syringe, which is perfect for drawing up as well as injecting. And then an alcohol swap to make sure that this is clean before you put the needle in. So that's the first thing you're gonna do. Open this up, make sure this is nice and clean. Open up the 27 gauge needle syringe. Pop that into the center, turn it upside down. And you're gonna draw out your required dose. So if you pull right to the bottom of the plunger, comes through a little bit slowly, you'll see that it starts to build up where the plunger is. So now you just push the air out. And then you push the plunger until you get to the dose that you want to inject. So for me again, 0.15 millilitres. I'm going to turn that upside down and I'm just going to put a little bit of air in, stop all the oil from coming out of the end of the needle there. Now you can push out that excess air and you're ready to inject. Now we're going to do the injection. So you take your alcohol swab and you're going to clean the area where you're going to inject with circular motion. Give the area a good clean. Now we're going to take our syringe with our dose in. Don't pinch the area too hard. Insert the needle and inject slowly. And I'm Z tracking here, which is pulling the skin across. And this just prevents the oil from escaping after you've injected. Now you can clean the area with an alcohol swab again and make sure you throw away the needle and syringe in a sharp spin. Thanks for watching. If you thought the video was useful, then please like and subscribe. Leave any comments below. And if you need any more information on TRT or how to inject safely, then please visit www.optimale.co.uk.